PD-8 engine, developed by Rostex United Engine Corporation, completed its first reverse-mode test on an SJ-100 aircraft at the Zhukovsky Flight Testing Center near Moscow, marking another important accomplishment in Russian civil aviation. The airplane, serial number 9703, served as a key testbed for this critical technological era. The demonstration served as a turning point in the certification campaign for both the PD-8 engine and the Superjet 100's upgraded domestic configuration, known as the SJ-100, which aims to replace foreign-made systems with indigenized Russian components. The reverse mode was tested under controlled experimental settings at the Gromov Flight Research Institute. During flight and ground trials, engineers investigated the operation of the PD-8's thrust reverser in a variety of wing mechanization configurations, including variable flap and slap positions. These tests sought to determine the efficiency, stability, and reactivity of the engine's reverse mechanism, which is critical in aircraft deceleration after touchdown. Reverse thrust is a popular aerodynamic braking method used by practically all current airliners. It works by channeling the engine's force forward instead of backward, counteracting the aircraft's forward speed and reducing landing distance. The technology is especially important when operating on shorter runways or in inclement weather conditions like rain or snow, where wheel brakes alone are insufficient to safely bring the aircraft to a stop. In the case of turbofan engines like the PD-8, the reverse thrust system entails deploying specialized deflector doors or cascades following landing. These devices change the direction of exhaust airflow, generating braking force in the opposite direction of motion. This system's efficiency and integration have a direct impact on landing safety, noise control, and mechanical brake component wear. The PD-8's reverse mode builds on substantial knowledge gained from older Russian engines, particularly the PS-90A series used on the IL-96 and Tu-204, while also adding contemporary aerodynamic and control technologies. The PD-8 engine is one of the most recent developments in Russia's push for technological sovereignty in the aviation sector. It is a modern two-spool turbofan designed for regional jets with an 8-ton thrust and intended to power both the SJ-100 and the twin-engine B-200 amphibious aircraft. The reverse system tested at Zhukovsky incorporates a newly developed cascade-type thrust reverser coupled with an import substitution-built nacelle. This method uses electrically controlled actuators to precisely synchronize engines during reverse deployment, avoiding the risk of asymmetric thrust. Testing in several wing configurations was required to recreate realistic aerodynamic conditions during landing rollouts and to ensure system compatibility with the SJ-100's flight control software. The results verified stable functioning without vibration or structural interference, which is a key indicator before proceeding with higher intensity certification flights. The PD-8 requires perfect interaction with the SJ-100's wing systems to achieve optimal aerodynamic behavior during deceleration. The aircraft's advanced flight control system regulates the interaction of thrust reversers, spoilers, and flaps. When used, the reversers work together with lift dumping mechanisms to better shift the airplane's weight onto the landing gear, which helps it stop more effectively. Engineers from UEC and Sukhoi Civil Aircraft Company watched how the systems reacted at different flap angles, making sure that the reversers operated well with the control surfaces without causing any negative effects on airflow. The tests also confirmed that the engine's full authority digital engine control, or FADEC, technology was properly integrated with the aircraft's central avionics suite. FADEC, controls the deployment sequence and power modulation of reverse thrust, maximizing both speed reduction and fuel consumption while ensuring thrust symmetry between engines. The successful demonstration of reverse mode on the SJ-100 shows that the PD-8 project is nearing completion of certification. Earlier in the program, 
UEC carried out endurance and altitude chamber experiments to assess the engine's overall thermal and mechanical stability in simulated flight conditions. With the reverse mode proven, the focus has switched to long cycle flight studies, which will encompass several landings, crosswind scenarios, and wet runway conditions. Certification flight testing is intended to result in a cooperative approval process with the Russian Federal Air Transport Agency. Once approved, the PD-8 will replace the Franco-Russian SAM-146 engine, which is already used on older Superjet 100 aircraft. This changeover will make the SJ-100 the first aircraft in Russia's regional aviation sector to be fueled entirely by indigenous power plants. The PD-8 reverse thrust test has ramifications beyond technical validation. It is an important step forward in Russia's aviation self-reliance policy. Sanctions and supply chain restrictions, resulting from geopolitical changes, have increased the need to replace important foreign systems in airplanes with domestic equivalents. The PD-8 is part of Rostec's larger aim to equip a wide spectrum of aircraft, from regional jets to long-haul airliners, with native engines. UEC demonstrated its ability to design, test, and integrate critical aeronautical technology on its own by successfully demonstrating one of the engine's most mechanically complicated components. The use of Russian-built nacelles, electronically actuated reversers, and control units demonstrates the total localization of manufacture. Beyond civil uses, the experience is expected to contribute to the development of larger PD-14 and PD-35 engines, which would power next-generation aircraft such as the MC-21 and the proposed wide-body CR-929 program. Preliminary data from the Zhukovsky trials indicate that the PD-8's reverse thrust performance fulfills design requirements for deceleration force and acoustic efficiency. Engineers confirmed similar activation timings and no errors in electrical synchronization. These findings confirm the reverse mechanism's design maturity and open the basis for continuing aerial testing into late 2025. The following phases will include extended flying operations across multiple airports and environmental conditions. This phase will assist in determining system reliability under repeated use and ensuring maintenance accessibility throughout operational service. Parallel endurance testing on ground-based facilities continues to verify component lifetime and fatigue resistance, notably for nacelle flaps and actuator assemblies that are subjected to significant thermal and acoustic pressures. Once fully certified, the SJ-100 with PD-8 engines will enter service with Russian regional carriers. Its adoption will represent a major milestone in renewing Russia's short-haul fleet with totally domestically manufactured hardware. Operators benefit from less reliance on foreign service parts and certifications, while passengers may expect quieter operations and shorter braking distances after landing, thanks to the optimized reverse system design. As the reverse mode tests are completed successfully, the PD-8 serves as a symbol of engineering resilience in the Russian aviation sector. The events at Zhukovsky not only prove the engine's reverse system's practical reliability, but also showcase UEC, Sukhoi Civil Aircraft, and the country's larger aerospace research organization's collaborative efforts. With these successes, the SJ-100 program is making steady progress towards serial production and a new era of self-sufficiency in Russia's civil aviation environment. The reverse mode testing of the Rostec UEC PD-8 engine on the SJ-100 at Zhukovsky was a major milestone in the engine's overall certification and manufacturing timetable. Since June 2025, the PD-8 engine program has witnessed numerous significant breakthroughs that cement its place in Russia's plan of import substitution and aviation self-reliance. By mid-2025, the PD-8-equipped SJ-100 had completed its first extended test flight, traveling significant distances to demonstrate the engine's full in-flight capabilities under operational conditions. Around June 20, 2025, the aircraft flew 6,000 kilometers throughout Russia, demonstrating engine reliability and system integration. 
This long-haul flight was part of a lengthy test program that included many prototypes with varied levels of foreign component substitution to completely replace imported systems and create a wholly indigenous variant of the regional aircraft. Certification plans aim to complete all trials and regulatory clearances by the autumn of 2025. Rostec and UEC carried out multiple tests on the ground and in the air, which included checking how long the aircraft could fly, ensuring the engine worked properly, and making sure all systems worked well together with the SJ-100. The tests for the reverse thrust system, which started at Zhukovsky, were improved by these longer flights to mimic actual braking situations, checking how well the system works and allowing for design changes. Both production readiness and testing advanced concurrently. Rostec UEC confirmed its readiness to initiate serial manufacture, with starting output scheduled to begin in late 2025. The first batch of PD-8 engines, four in total, was scheduled to be delivered in 2025 to allow for extended certification flights and experimental installations not only on the SJ-100, but also on amphibious aircraft such as the B-200. Production capacity was expected to increase significantly in 2026, with a target of up to 30 engines per year, subject to certification completion and delivery pipeline development. This carefully planned scale-up showed that the company was following a strategy that put quality and system maturity ahead of a big industrial rollout. The PD-8 engine is important to Russia's civil aviation industry because it is a completely domestic replacement for the Say M146 power plant, which was made in France and Russia. The engine uses innovative Russian materials, additive manufacturing methods, and lessons learned from the PD-14 engine family with the goal of meeting modern efficiency and environmental criteria while establishing a crucial footing in self-sufficient regional aircraft production. The import replacement effort for the SJ-100 contains approximately 40 substituted foreign components, reflecting a wide industry effort to domesticize both aerostructures and propulsion. In addition to engineering breakthroughs, industrial and government commitments have aided the PD-8 program's pace. Government stakeholders frequently underline plans to complete certification by the end of 2025 and begin delivering production aircraft equipped with the PD-8 in early 2026. This schedule is consistent with Russia's overall aviation sector growth ambitions, which include long-range aircraft engine development initiatives targeted at increasing export potential and minimizing dependency on Western suppliers. Furthermore, the ongoing test and production phases are in line with global cooperation activities. For example, in late October 2025, Russia's United Aircraft Corporation and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited signed a significant agreement to manufacture the SJ-100, which is powered by PD-8 engines in India. This multinational collaboration implies that the PD-8 engine is a key component of Russia's goal to increase aerospace industrial collaborations while managing geopolitical and trade hurdles, particularly tariff disputes with the United States. To recap, since June 2025, the PD-8 engine has progressed from basic testing and reverse thrust validation to advanced flight trials, serial manufacturing planning, and foreign industrial agreements. The testing of the engine's reverse mode was an important early sign that the system was developing well, and this has now been followed by thorough certification processes, plans for mass production, and important partnerships for exports. By the end of 2025 and into 2026, the PD-8 is expected to usher in a new era of Russian regional aviation, with wholly domestic power plants designed for safety, performance, and operational independence. This continued development demonstrates Rostec UEC's dedication to developing world-class engines customized to Russia's aviation needs, while also contributing to the global aerospace landscape via technological sovereignty and collaborative manufacturing ventures. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share.
Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us 